Good morning, and welcome to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. As we begin today's ceremony, I ask that you please rise for the invocation. Can you please join me as I pray a blessing over the ceremony and the graduating class? Let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks to you, for you are good, and your love endures forever. As we celebrate the achievements of Class 2503 Alpha today, we thank you for the strength, the resilience, and the endurance that you have given them that has brought them to where they are today. As they move on to their next challenge, endow them with the same courage, passion, and grace that you have given them thus far, and help them to continue to seek out the same successes in their future. We also take the time to give thanks for each person who has helped these graduates achieve their dreams and their goals. Whether it is their family, their friends, their instructors, their mentors, or loved ones, we give thanks for the wisdom, love, and time that has been invested into each of their sailors to help them become the men and women that are standing before us today. Bless this ceremony. May it be pleasing to you and memorable to those who are celebrating today. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Commander Meadows, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly graduates, welcome to the graduation of Machinist May Class 2503 Alpha. We take this time today to mark the completion of long months of hard work for these sailors as they pass through the first leg of their journey to becoming nuclear operators, and we here at Nuclear Field A School are pleased to recognize them for the efforts and achievements they have put forth. Today's guest speaker is from Wolfsville, Maryland. He joined the Navy on April 25, 2016. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School and Power School in Charleston, South Carolina. He then attended prototype at MTS 626 in Charleston, South Carolina. Upon completing training, he was stationed on board USS Boise, a nuclear power fast attack submarine stationed in Norfolk, Virginia, from 2018 to 2022. During his time on board, he supported one dual media discharge, led four safety interlock and testing procedures for vital electrical systems, and one primary valve replacement. After two years on board, he was made the leading petty officer of electrical division coordinating maintenance and upkeep for electrical systems vital to reactor safety and continuity of power while moving the ship into a dry dock in shipyard. After two and a half years on board, he qualified engineer and watch supervisor, leading multiple shipyard evolutions, preparing the ship to go back out to sea to perform future operations. It is my pleasure to introduce Electricians Made Nuclear, First Class, Submarines Qualified, Cody Elliott. Good morning, Commander Meadows, Chaplain, graduates, and more import most importantly, families as well. Uh, today's celebration of months of dedication and perseverance. Graduating from A school is very difficult and it's a great accomplishment, but remember, it's only the first of many steps you will take to advance to power school. Uh, after power school, you then advance to prototype and then climb to uh, excel in the fleet. Now each of these endeavors, you will exemplify the seal of the Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, knowledge, integrity, and excellence. When you arrive at Naval Power Training Command, these transform from words on a seal to an oath and a way of life. You have shown the ability to learn, retain, and display knowledge. You have found in yourself the discipline, dignity, and self-respect it takes to employ integrity. And you've demonstrated that both academic and military merit you can, your, for your commitment to excellence. I'm proud to witness the growth, teamwork, and tenacity you've shown to make it here. This, cere this ceremony is just a formality, but you get the title of what you've already become, a Petty Officer of the United States Navy. With this title of Petty Officer, junior sailors will look up to you, and more senior sailors will expect more from you. Wear the rank with pride by displaying leadership and the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority invested in me and reposting the special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, and fidelity, as well as the abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy. 
As such, from the 20th of February, 2025, uh, your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating these standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation with which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model of, for the others, and the performance must be continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation, and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Family and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third-class petty officers. Please be seated. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out as they complete this training, as evidenced by earning the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduate is Machinist Bay Nuclear, third class, Fabian Hernandez Munoz. <laughs> Honor graduate, front and center. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Meadows and Chief Sanchez. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Bay Nuclear, third class, Fabian Hernandez Munoz. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average from your class at Nuclear Field A School Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest tradition of United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for Machinist Maids Class 2503 Alpha, Machinist Made Nuclear, First Class, Surface Warfare Qualified, Lauren Papineau. and demanding academic programs in the entire Navy. This school was not just a test of intellect, but was a measure of discipline, perseverance, and character. It has challenged them and at times pushed them to their limits and required them to perform at their best every single day. As the section leading petty officer of 2503 Alpha, I've had the privilege of advising these sailors during this phase of their training. I've seen their resilience in the face of challenges, their determination to excel, and their commitment to supporting one another as a team. These qualities will serve them well as they advance in their training and ultimately take on greater responsibilities. To the graduates, the knowledge and skills you've gained here are just the foundation for the careers that you're building. Whether you go on to serve aboard submarines or aircraft carriers, you are going to be entrusted with systems that are not only technically complex, but also vital to the Navy's mission and the defense of our nation. In carrying out these duties, you will be a part of something much larger than yourselves. You're carrying on the weight of a legacy of excellence and service upheld by generations of sailors before you. To the families and loved ones here today, thank you for your unwavering support. Your encouragement, sacrifice, and pride have been the foundation upon which these sailors have built their success. As they continue their journey, your steadfast presence will remain a vital source of strength for them. They're going to need your support. Graduates, as you move forward in your naval careers, keep striving for excellence. Embrace the challenges ahead with the same focus and determination that you've shown here. This is just the beginning, and there will be many more hurdles to overcome. It's been an honor to be your section leading petty officer, and I'm incredibly proud of what you've accomplished here. 
I've had the privilege of watching you grow, both as sailors and as individuals, and I have no doubt that your futures are bright and filled with opportunity. That being said, it is my pleasure to present to you Class 2503 Alpha. Left face. Machine State Nuclear, third class, Tyler Beaton. Machine State Nuclear, third class, Travis Burks. Machine State Nuclear, third class, Johnny Burns. Machine State Nuclear, third class, Landon Deseo. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it here today. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors apart is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples they have set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command recognizes, recognizes the sailor from each class 
that displayed the highest levels of military bearing and reliability during their training with the following Personal Excellence Award. The recipient of this award is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, Machinist Mate Nuclear, third class, Andrew Keller. Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Commander Meadows and Chief Sanchez. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class, Andrew Keller. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This sailor stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic effort, and perseverance in the face of adversity has made you an outstanding example for your shipmates to emulate. This performance is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Military members at ease. For over 75 years, the United States Navy has operated nuclear powered aircraft carriers and submarines around the world, ensuring maritime security and deterrence. This has only been possible with the continued support of the family and friends. We ask that you continue this vital support as your sailor advances through nuclear power school and prototype. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing everyone in about seven months for power school graduation. Please rise for our benediction. Feel free to join me as I pray the final blessing of the graduates. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. As one era comes to a close, we give thanks and trust in you as a new era begins, for we know that you are good. We ask that you would go before each and every one of these students and guide them as they continue their journey to the fleet. Be a lamp unto their feet and a guide unto their May what they have learned be a building block to greater things in the future. Give them confidence to know that they can take on greater challenges because of what they have already conquered in both life and in the classroom. Bless them as they grow into the leaders that you have called them to become. Help them to find their unique voices, callings, and abilities, and help them to steward each of those qualities well. And when challenges arise, may they always find the strength, support, and encouragement among their friends, their families, and their loved ones. As we depart today, bless us and keep us. May your face shine upon us and be gracious to us. Help us to live lives that are honorable and help us to seek excellence in everything that we put our hands to. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations, and well done. Military personnel, carry on. <laughs>